the iCloud. Okay, I think it is recording. Um, okay, so let's just touch, we're gonna really focus on closing today, but let's just touch on what Serge has just mentioned in, in messages that are working for us. Um, I, there was a big focus on a call that uh, Beverly and I jumped on yesterday, which Daniela did on, um, you know, her sort of power hour and using those, you know, an hour of the day to literally sort of go through your Facebook, thank, uh, Facebook friendships, um, people are having birthdays, people on LinkedIn who are celebrating job um, anniversaries. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, that is a good 10 minutes of the day. Everybody should just do that and connect. And whether it's birthdays and new job connections um, or job um, Congratulations. Uh, progressions, whatever the word is, mm -hmm. um, Promotions. I, I, I'm yeah. sending the code. So for that one, um, I've, done, I've done this little message here. Congrats on your new job position. A little gift to help you celebrate. And mm. did um, a great little message which simplifies the code process. But I don't think we should, uh, the codes are important and doing these great, uh, these group codes makes it really simple and quick just to send it all out. But do remember that you're only going to earn money when these people take their holidays. You could send hundreds of these codes out and not yeah. get paid for ages. So we've got to focus on yeah. business builders. Exactly. This, this, is, this is a long-term thing. I mean, I've, of course, this is important as well. And I mean, if we don't have customers, we have no system. But I agree. This is a long-term thing. Um, it's almost, it's, it's almost like having two, two horizons, right? One is the short-term business builder straight away, and then longer-term people who will take come on board as, as holiday or, or travel bookers. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And, and it's almost like a seasonal thing as well, because we replicate how the travel market works. The travel market goes mad Christmas to New Year because of the summer holiday season. Then you've got the Easter as well. Can we dovetail into the same patterns? I think if you just set yourself a goal of connecting with all your new Facebook and LinkedIn people every day, don't spend more than an hour on sending out codes. And the rest of the time, I really think we should focus on building our team. Because yeah. what I'm already yeah. focusing, uh, finding, is as the team is getting bigger and bigger, you know, it is more difficult. You know, we are the core team. Everybody on this call are our, our core team. And, and that's fantastic. But look how that's grown in six, seven weeks. Yeah. If, we're, if we're done no, no. With that, there's a lot of my time now that's spent doing what Tyler's doing, reaching down. And I'm very conscious that I'm taking my eye off the ball. You know, it's that upside down pyramid that we need to be mindful of. We need a lot of first connections. Yeah, that has got to no. be our focus at the moment. So to cut to the chase and answering Serge's um, question on the process before we get to closing, the process is first of all to get a conversation going. Now I do your connect, connect, connect. I, I I've stopped doing it, but I've got so many now. But you guys may not be up there yet. Connect with the 50 every day that, face, that LinkedIn allows you to. Can I just say, is everybody on here doing LinkedIn? Is that their main source of, of, of contacts? I'm doing LinkedIn. I've only just started with it, so I'm not really up to scratch on it. But now that I've got my leg up for a few weeks, I'm going to go on LinkedIn for dummies and trying to get up to scratch with it. Okay. Well, all I would say in terms of engaging with people, if you can come up, I was with IceJanks, I was doing a post every single day. I've taken my eye off the ball on that. I'm probably doing about three posts a week and it has not changed engagement. So all this post every day, post every day, it can take up so much of your day thinking about things to do. Don't worry about that. Look at what I'm doing, share. I pinch stuff of Jules, Jules pinch stuff of me. We've been working on the ISA team together for ages. Don't ever ask, just if you see something you like, connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm not brilliant at it, we all share, but it will give you inspiration. Try and get something on there three or four days a week, just so when people check you out, you've got a bit of content and you're adding value to your people. Now, I do the connect, connect, connect thing. Um, I was doing it every day. I'm not doing it every day, but I suggest you guys do it. It doesn't take long. And then the people that then connect with you, 
are the ones that you want to send this introductory message to. So this is an example. Hello, whoever. Great to connect on LinkedIn. Now, I'm getting a lot of people selling to me at the moment. So yeah, everybody's <laughs> selling to each other. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I say thank you for your information. You know, your profile. I've just done one actually before this call. She was another coach. Um, I just said, look, your profile looks really interesting. Um, I'm going to be really honest. I'm getting so many approaches. But this is what I'm doing. If you're interested in lever leveraging your network, okay, I've got the sentence down here. As you clearly have a fabulous network, would you be open to leveraging it with a view of creating additional revenue stream for yourself? That's um, good. So mm -hmm. that's a, I, I get little lines and actually I need to mm -hmm. change because I've got yeah, two Danny, questions. Can I just ask a really dumb question? Are you sending this on email or are you sending this out on LinkedIn Messenger? On LinkedIn Messenger. Right, okay, thank you. On LinkedIn Messenger. Um, so, I mean, I can show you that as well. If it yeah, yeah, I, know, I know where it is. So I, I use LinkedIn quite a lot. Yeah, okay. So you just send a message. And then when I check my LinkedIn messages, um, like today, here's someone that sent me an email. I haven't really looked. I've done a few today. Um, now this one, this one here who was telling me about her coaching and I just said, I get so many of these approaches, blah, blah, blah. And she came back and said, listen, I'm doing, I've got loads of income streams, um, not interested. And then I just said, look, good luck to you. Let's stay in touch. And I've sent her a code. So I've, I've mm. said, look, this is free for customers. You've got yeah. no obligation to use it, but once set up, you have the portal for life and it undercuts the main online engines quite significantly. Now that may, that may disappear forever or she may book a holiday. So it's yeah. again, utilizing every contact you make mm. to, the, to the maximum. So again, I've got little messages for sending out codes. So I just go to my, my drafts and go back to, you know, if I want to send a code, happy birthdays. I sent this, it's a real mess. I need to tidy this up for you guys, but I'm very happy to email it to you and you can just top and tail. That would be okay. really helpful. Seriously. Yeah, please, yeah. Deborah. Copy and paste. Well, sent it to you, Oscar. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say also, Debbie, I'd be using, having Daniela's call the other day, I'm using invite and just putting one code in there once. So I'm saying invite you to, and I'm really using that. I, I get given 10 free codes a month. Um, you know, would you like one? And yeah, that's working that's, really that's, I like that message. I think that might be in, in there somewhere. Yeah, that's, um, that's good. Give some urgency. Exactly the same with Facebook. I mean, I'm a bit overwhelmed with Facebook because... I don't know, maybe it's just because I've been doing network marketing for two years. I don't need to read. I have so many people connecting with me. If I go yeah. to friends, I mean, look at all these bloody people. I need to do a day just sending out them a little connection. Yeah. I don't know who mm half -hmm. of them are. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I never really well, I, I, I had a really good one today, Debbie. I, I'm trying to get New Zealanders and Aussies. And I know one girl who's travelled over to New Zealand. She loves travelling. So I sent her. I touched base with her. Um, and she's, she says, oh, I'm in England, but if it still applies in England, she said, I'd still be interested. Boom. So I've sent her the late, I sent her David Hunt's video. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So yeah. In terms of well, process, I think that that's fantastic. So send her the David Hunt video. Or yeah. I will, I will send that message. And if they're interested and get their email, at that yeah. point, you want to send them the I decide. Yeah. So I'm going to just send you a little interactive presentation. Have a look at it and let's have a chat thereafter. That's going to be your next message. So that's after David Hunt or before? After, after. if you've sent him the David Hunt yeah. video, I would maybe just phone her and say, look, what did you think of it? Do you like the idea? Um, if so, let me send you the I decide. Okay. I, would, I try and get the email from them in my email in my if, you, if you've got that then you can send the i decide um but cool. i tend to use the videos and the calls after they've done the i decide so my process would be connect on linkedin then um if you get a bit of engagement after that say look i'm going to send you the i decide let me know what you think when you follow up after the i decide ideally then you want to plug them into one of our calls if they yeah. can't do a call, then you could send them the David Hunt one. Okay. Um, as a as a 
a, a substitute. And I do it the other way around sometimes, and it all depends on who you're talking to. Yeah, I sometimes agree. Sometimes if they're not network well marketing savvy or they want to know about the business as a whole, I'll send the David Hunt one. If they come back saying, God, that's really interesting, I'll go. Because the I decide for some, my warm market is a bit too American. But I'll say to them, like, yeah, I agree. Yeah, everyone's agree. saying that. And it sounds so patronizing as well, the way they talk. And yeah. You like to travel? Yeah, but yeah, I, I think, yeah, for... for yeah, quite a big audience. I don't think it's the right tool. Uh, I, I think I, I yeah. think you you probably and I also don't think at the beginning, uh, depending who you speak to, you don't even want to give that much information. I think you want to get them on a call, quick call, uh, as quick as possible, and then really put them, plug them into a uh, a Zoom call. And then yeah. close the deal, basically. I think that's how the process should be. But mm -hmm. I, I think we Sorry, need to sir, charge. Can you, can you um, do that again, please? Sorry. Can you so could we repeat Serge's process again? Because I tend to agree. The, the the I've had a number of people have been put off, and I hope yeah. there's no Americans on the call, but put off by the style in terms of it is so it clashes with. Yeah. Yeah, and, and 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 also I think it does not even cover how big the opportunity is we have at hand yeah. that's what i think i think it's it's not only limited to just mm -hmm. offering people discounted travel it's far more than that so yeah i don't know but i think it's especially the tone i think it's um it grates it, it, it's really it really great i hate to sound, uh, not to sound negative but it's, it's having dealt yeah. with americans for years and it's the uh, it's, something has to be done for that because um, I I've, think I've, I've, I've hired so many people and they've all said, oh, no, sorry, this is not for us, purely because of the tonality of it. And the messages I've sent, I've sent saying, look at the content, not the tonality of it. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, if you already could uh, turn off the, uh, the dubbing, so the, the voice, I think it would already be better. Yeah, I don't think you could do that. I think we need to charge Kate yeah. and Rob when they're over at Accelerate next week, we need to charge them with talking to them about getting an, an Anglified or a European one um, set yeah. up. Yeah, sure. I, but, I, mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've been, as Beverly knows, we've been marketing globally for years with Time Inc and MTV and Viacom, and everything was fine-tuned to not necessarily local markets, but regional markets, so the tonality changes. Otherwise, you know, it's a global world, but people are still very much warm to their own type of style of communication as you know Debbie you're a marketer. Yeah no absolutely. Uh, but you know just just listening to everyone's so what they said here um, I totally totally agree that it's, it's far more than just savings so just yeah. just with what HB you know look at when we look at Mark Zuckerberg you know just a student in his back room with little kids you know do, doing more than what they created and then what you look at the team and what the specialty with HB and his um, experience and everyone who's around him and what they've got and what they've now designed and where that's going. You know what I mean? The, the opportunity is absolutely frigging mind blowing. So I can't see that ever failing. I, when I send out my, I decides I do do it in a, in an email and I have actually put a new little word paragraph in about the fact that I, I find it's, um, I say something like, it's very American. It is rather American in tone. Yeah. Um, it explains the opportunity and vision in brief very well, although it is very American in tone, which is something we can't do much about at the moment. <laughs> so I almost do a little apology for it. Yeah. Um, but I think you guys are right. I think we do need to, uh, they, they need this because they sign up through this. Mm but it's very much a case of then plugging them into a call either before or after, whichever suits the, the person you're talking to. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean... is the duplication. That's the whole point of it, is the duplication. Yeah, I mean, exactly. you know, we need one in English because, like you say, we're putting too many people off. But I loved it. When I saw it first time, I went, bloody hell, it's personalised. I love the interaction of it. It's just yeah. the voice. Do you know, we had all this issue with isogenics at the beginning. It's what it is, and it didn't yeah, start no, I, I, well. I, I, exactly. I, exactly. I mean, the tools are there. I mean, the concept is there. The company is there. Um, 
it's what, what's working for you or the people you target. Uh, and I mean, of course, it's not perfect, but I mean, we, we have far enough tools to, to work and, uh, and make this work. And, and look at look at HB. He didn't even have coffee, but he was like, he, you know, look, he was selling stuff, and he didn't have enough stuff to give them. Yeah. So you know what I mean. At the end of the day. Okay. So just to we've sort of touched briefly on the process, and hopefully that will give a few of you a few more pointers as to how to get to to the next stage. So ultimately, after you've plugged them into one of our calls, whether we do it on one of the group calls or you get one of us to help. Um, you know, edify and, and get a three-way uh, call going. After that, it literally is remembering to ask for the business. And I think this is where Kate, Kyla said, you know, they've, they've replied saying that they're really interested and I don't know what to do next. And to me, that's, you know, you forget that people do are frightened to ask for the business because they're, it's that inner fear of rejection. So, um, in essence, we know that when you go to um, to our, da, 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 our I Decide contacts, this gives you an indication of who is, um, who's read it. Now this looks very exciting, by the way, and it's a load of rubbish. They've all put join now, join now, join now. We've been saying that for two months. This yeah. is credit card suddenly blocked, he says. Um, and this lady here says she wants to join, um, but she still hasn't jumped on a call. And I left another message her this morning saying, do you want to do a one-to-one? -one? So, you know, it can give you a bit of false hope, this thing. But it can, does I tell you, can I share what works really well with Kate and I the other day? Yeah. So basically, I used a technique that I used in Isogenics. And I basically said to Nigel, who's, I don't know whether Nigel's on the call or not, I just said to him, so out of one to 10, and it was good to be asking, not Kate, out of one to 10, where do you think you're sitting at the moment in terms of joining? He came back and said eight, and I said, okay, so what would it take you to go to a 10? And literally he told me what the objection was. We overcame that and he signed up. Initially, I took him through all the packages because I had those on the screen. So I took him through what he was looking at. He goes, oh, I might do business. No, sod it, I'll do first class. Okay, fine, over to you, boom. I mean, that was very, very easy, but do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? really 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 easy way of doing it no you're absolutely spot on there Beverly. Mm. That is exactly what i was going to say it's finding out if, it, if the time isn't now and ask those open-ended questions as beverly just said you know where are you standing what what would it take you you know what what are your objections and give them the opportunity to listen you know listen and if it is a no do back off you know just say okay you know, what, what's stopping you, try and find out what they are. It may be a timing thing in which we go, you know what, that's fine. How about, you know, if I get back to you, like the credit card guy, I said, okay, so I don't want to be pestering you unnecessarily. When do you think it will be resolved and when should we talk again? Um, and that was, he's in America, so I haven't heard back from him, but then I'll put a note in my diary to, to get back to him. Um, but yeah, it's, it's listening as much as, talking um, and trying to get to their why you know and asking lots of open-ended questions to engage them as well you know do you have a big network what hobbies do you have you know what groups are you in and then you can encourage them and say god you know that's fantastic if you're a member of a rowing club or um, a gym or what was Danielle saying the other day she's a photographer's club you know any anybody that's in an environment where they are talking to people you can say you're going to be brilliant mm -hmm. You're going to be brilliant at this. Um, so the main questions to me are, you know, do you have a network and are you comfortable connecting? Um, and are you interested in an additional revenue stream? And I can't think of too many people that are going to say no to that. Um, and then you sort of come in with the fact that you know, the great thing about this particular business is that it's, you know, the front door is travel and everybody loves to travel. So you're never really going to get the same objections that you get in a product-based company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. That, they're, they're, it actually piques their interest. They, they're, they're, um, nobody says no to the travel question, right? Yeah. It's when you get into it. Um, that oh, time is yeah. probably my biggest um, you know, objection. People going, Pardon? I don't think I've got the time to do right. this. Right. You know, I can see you're doing it You know, four or five hours a day. And for that, again, leverage 
people in the team come up with a little empathy story that like I would use um well I don't know he's not on the call but Hamish has got another job in theory we do know people that just do it for two hours a day I mean Rob look at you you were on a uh, you know you're working um you know you signed up all these people when you were on holiday for Christ's sake you know it's just connecting as you're talking to people um you can do a lot more of it than you imagine when you are in your daytime job you know it can just happen naturally just make a note of the name of the person you've spoken to and when you get home it's just a case of sending out the i decide or a code so if time is an issue cite people that are doing really well on a couple of hours after work every day and yeah, then also what we did on sunday was brilliant yeah i mean that was just focused an hour and we got through so much so you know yeah, if you're free sure. at 10 o'clock on a sunday I would suggest you jump on it. They don't record it because she literally, she's going, right, now we're going to do this and you just do it. Now we're going to do this. We're gonna, and actually Rob has put the notes of what we actually did in the business page. So they're all there if somebody wants to go and have a look at them. Brilliant. Absolutely. And actually on the subject of the business page, you know, I'm still getting a lot of questions mm. asking um, very basic things, not from you guys, but from other people. And I just keep, I'm, I'm trying to get stricter now rather than answering them all is just referring people to that business page. Mm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Really absolutely. Cool. I mean, uh, also mo moving forward for the team, the team is getting bigger. Uh, we have to get structured. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So when you want to celebrate people, don't put them in that chat. Put them in the gl the global one because everyone's yeah. celebrating everybody there. And in fact, because they do that now, you can't actually find any information when you're looking for an event or you're looking for some links. And you know, we will try and keep all. You know, if Tyler announces a new um, month of of codes and times, I will update that and we'll put it in the file so everybody can just refer to that as our work in progress. In fact, what I should do is this thing that I that's a bit of a mess but I will update. I'll just put Debbie's draft messages and I'll stick it in files after, yeah, after this call. And then, and then you've got that. Um, can I do, sorry, can I just say one, one thing really quickly? That thing at 10 o'clock, which we referred to on um, with um, Daniela, like just little silly things which will come out on that. Like just one thing which we touched on before about LinkedIn. I had no idea about this, but to get yourself more visible on LinkedIn, you, for 90 days post one thing, a day for 90 days that massively increases your visibility on there i had no idea about that so if we haven't done that that's another little gem which i took from that so i'm going to try and implement that so people see your stuff right yeah, yeah i'm going to copy all your stuff rob copy you. <laughs> i i worry that that makes you spend too much time doing social media posts um i yeah. do it every yeah. day and i don't do it every day and i got over a thousand hits the other day on my little post so I, I don't know, maybe you need to build up a bit in the first place, but... Um, maybe you can do a, ske a scheduler, so you just do one schedule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bear is eaten by yeah. the dog. I, I must admit, I'm a, I'm a complete novice on this, <laughs> so I'm just a sponge, I'm just taking on information, so... <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, so going back to coaching techniques, never be afraid to ask for the business. So if you're on a call with somebody, you know, at the end, you know, you do the whole, what do you think, what do you think, you know, um, and then never be afraid to say, so are you going to join us? Just ask them the question, are you going to join us? You know, yeah. mm -hmm. I think we massively need to leverage what, um, Bev who was um, Beverly Kent, who al alerted me to the, the power of the fact that we are five positions away from Johnny Winnerby, Willoughby, whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, that's right. Um, so yeah, Kate and I were talking about it. In network marketing, we need to, I need to add a paragraph about that. I'm going to do that before I post it. The other thing is also, Debbie, we've now got 440,000 customers. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is incredible. That, grow, that grew uh, 100,000 in, uh, in a few weeks' time not going to be long but again it would be nice to have some vision of how many people are actually booking holidays how many people have booked which they will tell us um but the ratio of how many are booking compared to how many customers would be quite nice to know mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's not the same. No, it's definitely not the same. JB, would it be <clears throat> would it be a good thing to tell to make people aware that when they activate diet boomerang, they're actually feeding someone in Africa. They're giving it the, 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 part of the uh, boomerang foundation. Yeah. You yeah. can certainly tell them. I personally don't think it will make the slightest bit of difference. <laughs> no, but uh, actually, that would be like a good idea for, for a post one day, if we have the time. But yeah, like yeah, ten, yeah. 10 reasons why you should book via iBoomerang. And I mean, okay. yeah, that's it. good. Yeah. We're all going to do a post a day and share each other's posts. So I'm looking at the pictures. I'm first. Debbie, I'll do Monday. Right, are you up for this? So yeah. yeah. Monday. Yep. Beverly Wednesday. Yep. Rob Thursday. Mary Friday. Oh, where have I got to? I've, I've, there's too many of us. Okay, and then I got down to. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And we all share that with each other. Yeah, we we repost that. What did I say? Mary Friday. Jewel Saturday, and mm -hmm. Kate Sun Kate Sunday. Okay, cool. I can't, babe, I can't do Sundays. My husband is going to divorce me if I work on Sundays. I, can I, I can't can do, do Sunday. Sunday. Am I doing Sunday? You, you, you don't have to wait till the day you have to post oh, it. I could do, do it before. No, that's fine. Yeah, I'll do Sunday. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, no, where are we posting? I'll just copy you all. <laughs> yes, where are we posting? Given that I can't, I'm not allowed to post anything on my Facebook. I can on what I've decided. I've, I think I've taken all the Isogenics people off LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is my thing. You okay. Know, okay. Where are we putting the post? Are we putting it in the iBoom group? Or should, we, or should we do it in our in our work group? And then it's there for everybody. Yeah. The TSA one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I'll tell you what, if it doesn't pollute it, we'll do one a week. So if I start it on a Monday, put Tuesday in the comments, Wednesday in the comments. So each week is one post. That's a good idea, Debbie. Well, say that again. Each week is just one post. So if I um, if I posted it here now, uh, yeah. in the, where are we, team... Um, then, then the next person puts it in the comments. So, um, oh, good idea. yeah, so the next one would be Tuesday and then Jules, Wednesday. Yeah, Jules, that's what you're looking for there by Rob, yeah? Is it? Is it? Let me see. That's what Rob posted. That's what we did on Sunday. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Debbie? Team. Yeah. Can I, can I just clarify? Well, thanks. Who's the audience for this post in terms of Facebook? This is posting into the Any social media this, this, platform. This is the group, or is this going out publicly? You're going to use uh, uh, your choice. Your yeah. choice. Yeah. Your choice. We'll put it here so we can all share the posts. Okay. Um, and it may be that somebody posts something and it'll just inspire you to do your own post. You may just pick, you know, steal the picture and then put your own words around it. Okay. But the yeah. Is that we're not having to think about it every single day. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. So I you need to think what? about something today. How many customers did you say we had? Four hundred and forty thousand, Debbie, and that's gone yeah. up. Yeah. But when I joined, it was two eighty-five. Okay. On, on that flight school sun, on Sunday, that's what Alton Bugs was saying, and he got on and he was having a bit of a rant, to be honest. Um, for not even because he wanted a million by March, that's his target, and he, yeah, he like, um, you know, giving everyone a bit of a you know, kick up the backside because you know, for settling for you know, not achieving your target, but he had an awesome way of putting it. Well, he's gonna have half a million by March, I mean, you know, in nine months or nearly a year, that's not bad, is it? Yeah, but he, yeah uh, pro probably that's why, as well, there's still the promotion for the eye boomerangs to push that up. Okay. Which makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I've just had a message from my Spanish girl. Any Spanish speakers, by the way, amongst us? No, sorry. That's an excellent. All right, I'll come back to that. Okay, so um, in terms of closing, I think we've, we've pretty well covered it. It's asking for the business. Um, it's op asking lots of open-ended questions. If it's a no, don't write it off. Find out what the objections are, what the pain points are. 
leverage people that you can empathy, empathy with to say, oh, I, you know, someone else I know is in that situation and they did X, Y, and Z, or do you want me to get you on a call with X, Y, and Z? Um, all those same strategies that, um, you know, we... Three-way calls are the way. If somebody's interested, don't try and do it yourself. It's so much easier edifying somebody else on the call, uh, you know, and having somebody else ask the difficult or ask the questions because when it's somebody people don't know, it's so different than if it's your friend or whatever. They respect it more. They're, they're, you know, it's just a completely different situation, you know. So definitely, definitely use three-way Zooms. They're the best. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Quite a compelling story. I think that's, and, and if you've got somebody else, as Beverly says, it's so nice for them to hear it from somebody else um, rather, than, rather than yourself. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, put on your listening hat. Know when it's a no. Find out the time to come back um, and just make a note so your follow-ups um, are when they say they're going to be and be confident in your delivery. You know, if there's any element of it that you're not confident about, as Beverly says, just get one of us on the call. Um, I thought Bev uh, Kate was having a rant, but she's talking to somebody else, I think. She's on silent. Right. Um, any other questions? We are over half an hour, and I do want to try to keep these concise. Are we all up to speed a little bit more on the process? Yep. Yes, boss. Cool. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, cool. Thanks, baby. Whilst we're on, I just wanted to throw out my calendar just to give advance notice of my next little tripette. <laughs> I know. Um, I, I know this week's fine. So, and next Monday's fine as well. But next Friday, um, who is it that's asked? Rob, it's your guy. Curtis asked if he could do Friday with me. But I've suddenly realized he's in Australia. He's not going to want to do a one o'clock call, is he? <laughs> you can do one of mine with me. Daddy, okay. where's the over 40s disco? <laughs> 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 this is cool. Yeah, why not to tell us? Come on, Debbie. <laughs> and all these, all these fellas, by the way, Will, Alan, David, they're B and B guests. Just to clarify, they're not random men wandering. <laughs> no questions, no back drill. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So I need to send a message to Curtis to say, do it with Beverly. I'll send your slide, Beverly. If Actually, Rob can Rob can do that. I was talking to Rob because Rob did the call this morning with me. Um, which wasn't very well attended, um, but hey, I've got to work on that, you know, we'll, we'll no, get... Why don't you just do one a week, rather than stress doing two? You reckon? Yeah, and then if people want a one-to-one, -one, then you can help them out. Okay. All right, I'll have a chat with Rob, all right. Okay, well, can I Monday or Thursday. I'm happy. At the moment, I'm happy doing them, because I really, well, but then I'm not getting people on there, but it all depends on whether, I, I want to teach people more people to do it so in Australia than they can do. <coughs> we'll do one team call, one training call maybe with them and one, and one. Yeah, that might be a good idea. That might Guys, be. I've got a random question to throw out. Um, Australia yeah. contacts, does anybody have any um, input into Qantas or BA? Um, reason being, a friend of mine is a retired police officer. She just retired about two weeks ago. Uh, very heavily into wildlife preservation. We've done a number of charity sports events to raise money um, for the bushfires there, for the animals in the bushfires. And they were going out as a team of firefighters to stay in various rural areas to help with the fighting of the fires. <coughs> They've been let down on their travel. So we're just trying to source somewhere or some teams that can actually help them. I don't know whether iBoom can help or whether we have any contacts in Australia, Beverly, that might be able to have connections into the travel services there, you know? Pass. My friend Corey, who hasn't got fired up yet, used to work in the travel sector. So you might want to pop a little note. She's on the um, Super, Super Boomers Facebook group. Um, and just put at Corey and then her name will pop up and just say, I understand you used to work in travel. You have any idea? That's a good idea. Yeah, she okay. might be able to help out. Right, thank you. Brilliant. Okay, so Curtis, I'm going to leave uh, Rob and Beverly to pick up with him. So, who would like, in that case, 
um, to do Friday. Anybody, any newbies want to give the presentation a go? Not a moment. So I, could, I, I would offer, but I can't this Friday because I'm doing um, on granny on granny duty. Well, Mary, I'm away next Friday. So why would you and Beverly like to do next Friday the 29th? Okay. Um, and yeah, I don't want to put anyone in a position. I'm happy to do do um, to the 28th. Sorry, it is. I was thinking this was Friday. Yeah, it's the 28th is when I'm away. I might be going to see my sisters out, but I can still do the tour. They're filming the crown down at my sister's enormous pad, and I want to go and see it. Um, okay, well, I will find somebody who wants to do Friday with me between now and then. Or I'll yeah, yeah I'm, I can do it. I'm always available. Yeah. Yeah. We will be, obviously, we'll be in the um, States, otherwise, I would, we'd have been happy to do that, but we will be. Um, Lots of posting, guys. Want to hear about it? Put it all in the business group, yeah? Yeah. Just, just a quick one, Kate. When, when are you actually getting over there? When are you travelling? What day? Um, we are flying Wednesday afternoon. Um, so we get in late. When we get into Houston Wednesday evening. What about you? Um, Tuesday. So I'll be there. Um, I'm leaving here at 10 o'clock, so I can't remember when I get there, but yeah, be... Cool, so we'll touch base when we land. Um, sorry, I've been a bit, I'm, I'm, it's half term, I've been running Jacob around there, so I have been listening. Um, oh, even yeah. though my video's been off and my audio's been off, I have been listening. Um, by the way, um, <laughs> well, actually, no, I may be, if we got, I've had my ISA account such, such shut down, so... Uh, Same. Oops. Same. Debbie, stop recording. Yeah, oh, yeah, God, stop recording. God, God, record stop video no uh, more stop recording okay